I'm back! I'ma treat you like I got nothing left to live for I'ma place all my bets on you I'ma treat you like a queen I'ma show you exactly what it all means You wanna be held, I'll hold you Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So, I know I say this like in every single one of my videos, but this has literally been the longest that I've gone since doing an actual video. It's been like a month, I believe, that I've been doing videos. I think the last one I did was the black smoky eye, the classic smoky eye. And if you guys haven't checked that out, I recommend that you guys do down below. I'm honestly so super excited to be back with you guys. I freaking miss it like so much. <sighs> but this video is going to explain to you why and like the mystery on why I haven't been on YouTube, why I haven't up been uploading videos lately it's been so crazy you guys you guys have no idea as some of you guys know I just started school and work so I started both and it has been the most craziest and busiest schedule of all times so literally a day for me now is like wake up at 6 in the morning do my makeup do my hair change pick an outfit Go to school at 7.30 a.m., go to my classes, get out at 2.30, and also did I mention that I for classes I have two folklorico classes right now, so, so I have been in one and then I go help in the other, which is really tiring, I come home all sweaty, so I have to shower, you know, and some of the times I just don't even have time to come home or eat, I just go straight to work and... I don't get out till like 9, maybe sometimes even 10 because I close, so it takes forever to fold everything. By the way, guys, I work at Aeropostal at Las Americas. If you guys want to go visit me, I always post my, not schedule, of course, that's too personal, but I always post my like work hours on Snapchat. If you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, you guys should. It'll be down below as well. I'm sorry if you guys hear that, but those are the usual cholos outside my window thinking they're the sh So, where was I? Usually I get out at work now since I just changed my availability, you know, to working from 3 p.m. and on just because I have get out at 2.30 from school. So, I go to work and I usually don't come home till late at night and then I have also been enrolled in two AP classes in my high school so right now I have a ton of homework so I come home latest 10 spend about an hour and a half to two hours on my homework shower so I don't even have like the eight hours of sleep that I need to go to school but I've been going to school really like drowsy really lazy like right now I even checked like this eye is looking like it's really down and closed I, I don't know, it's usually always this side, but I have been so freaking tired lately. Speaking of tired, Squad and I went to Six Flags yesterday. Woo! It was honestly like the best day I've had in months. Like, I have not had that much fun in so much time. Like, I have been going through so much. And not just at home, but like, you know, I, as I just mentioned, work and school and homework and everything. It's just been like... I have had no time for me, for my family, for, you know, my boyfriend, for friends. It was like 15 of us and we went in two cars. We stopped by at IHOP in the morning and oh my gosh, we woke up so early that day. We woke up like at 4, got on the way at 5, stopped at IHOP, some bomb mess pancakes. They tasted like donuts by the way. I don't know if that's a good thing. But they were pretty good. Like, really good. And well, there was like a three hour drive ahead of us and we were bumping the music, having so much freaking fun and it wasn't even Six Flags yet, like we were just in the car. And then when we got there, you could have imagined us, we were so freaking excited. We were all screaming, we went on X2. I think at the end, I believe we went on like seven or eight rides. 
And we ended up going on the newest one called the uh, Twisted Colossus like three times, I think. It is literally like the best, not the, I feel like the best one for me is Tatsu because just because you feel like you're flying, but then Twisted Colossus made me like rethink about my new favorite ride. That ride was four minutes long and even though it's like, oh my gosh, that's a really long time, it goes by like so fast, like you do not even feel it. If you guys get to go to Six Flags, I really recommend going on Twisted Colossus. It's the... <sighs> Gotta say it. The best ride at Six Flags. Sorry, Tatsu. Going down. But yeah, we were there from opening 10 a.m. all the way to closing, which was 10 p.m. So we were there for about 12 hours. We were starving to death because like nobody had money because we spent so much on gas breakfast the ticket we had like no money left so we were all starving and we were like all like don't touch me like you know when you get hungry you know how you get we all get in a way that just drives us crazy drives everybody else crazy it's like don't come near me but we decided to just wait it out and just get distracted by goliath and the rest of the rides that we were gonna ride and then go to in and out after and we obviously went to the closest in and out there because we were like starving to death. So by the time the park closed and we got to the car, it was about 10.30, 10.40. And then, and then the rest of the squad went to go ride Twisted Colossus because like half of us split like an hour before we left. So they went on Twisted Colossus and then they came back. It was about like 11, 11.30ish. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then we got to in and out at about, I don't know, I would say 11.40, even 12-ish, I dare to say. And we ate for about half an hour to an hour. So we took our time. Like, literally no one was talking when we were at in and out Like, everybody was so hungry that we were like, don't talk to me. Food, come at me. And then it was a three-hour drive back home. So we got home, I think, at about 3.30 a.m. We were so super tired. I, right now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I am dead tired. Um, just because I had some spare time and I was like, hmm, sit down, watch a movie, relax, or make a YouTube video. I was like, YouTube video. If you guys watched my Turning 17 video, I explained to you guys how my thinking of turning 17 was like, okay, girl, you're a year away from being 18, an adult, you're literally almost an adult so yeah I gotta get ready for life you know you gotta get ready for like your applications your job your car your everything right now and I'm just now realizing it's like wow like when I made that video I had no idea I was gonna be like this even though I'm not at 18 yet it's like what the hell is going on like but not to make this video so long I know I talked a lot but this video was meant for that it was meant for you guys to know what has been going on with me my life and the reason why I haven't been able to be uploading videos I just had literally like a little bit of hours right now so I was like why not of course you guys are on my youtube channel for makeup and obviously those are coming I have so much planned right now I literally have my I don't have it with me right now but I have a little book it's really pretty it has like butterflies and I have all of my youtube video ideas that I am planning to make and I will have those done, not sure when, but very, very soon. Again, I can't confirm anything yet just because life has been crazy for me right now. But one thing I will promise you guys is that I will not stop making videos, okay? I will be here no matter what. No matter what it takes, I will get to making videos. I will make time, I promise you that. Please don't think that I am like keeping it to the side. Although it's not my main, main priority. Of course, I have my job and my school and everything. But it is one of my main hobbies to do, so I will not let you guys down. Don't let me down. Freaking love that song. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little update video. If you have any questions on anything at all, make sure to leave a comment down below. And if you guys are really anxious on me making another video, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up so I know that you guys are waiting for it. And I will make the best of me so I can get the editing done get the whole uploading process done, the getting footage process done, getting everything done, and God willing, I will get things straight and 
I will make this happen. I love this way, 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 way too much to let this channel down. If you guys have any video ideas or requests that you would want me to make, just make sure to DM me on Instagram, um, Snapchat me, um, send me a message through Facebook, comment down below. I am always responding to everyone. I respond to every single comment, every single message, every single anything. I will make sure to get back to you guys. All my social media is down below as always if you guys are interested in following me or knowing where to message me. I will see you guys in my next video very, very, very soon. Before I forget, I don't know why I left this at the very end. I should just let you guys know in the beginning. Although you guys might have noticed it. Might have. I do have a new background. And I don't know if you guys recognize these roses. These are from like my very first videos. If you guys go back way to my channel. These are the roses that I used. And they're not real, obviously. I used these on my Sweet 16. And then I put some little like gems fake gems just because I love you know diamonds and my background of course it's really me pink and just so I won't have to move the camera yes I do have a vanity mirror and it is eh, like from up there to like down to my feet and it is my my favorite color it is like a peachy corally color it's my sweet 16 color dress Huge, huge, huge props to my sister. She made it from scratch. Um, I will post a before and after picture. It is absolutely amazing. And I feel like this is a very big step for me just because I feel like every beauty YouTuber needs their own vanity mirror. It is amazing to have one. Like, you literally won't be able or want to use any other mirrors at all, like, ever. Please make sure to go follow my sister as well. I will link her Instagram down below because you guys need to see her creations they are so beautiful she makes things everything from scratch and they are not expensive at all they are absolutely beautiful I feel like the prices that she puts on her items are very well worth the price because she does put a lot of effort into them and they come out absolutely beautiful she's really picky so for those of you picky people out there like me she makes things exactly the way you want them to and it, they just come out amazing so make sure to go follow her please talk to you guys later